Now, the Dáil has been debating the need for a mini-budget to tackle the rising cost of living. Inflation here is now at a 20-year high. Our political correspondent, Gavin Riley, is at Leinster House for us this lunchtime. Gavin, things got so heated there earlier today. The Dáil was suspended for a while. Yes, yeah, something which doesn't happen very much these days, Colette, but the doll was put on ice for 10 minutes earlier during a very heated debate prompted by the Rural Independent Group about the cost of living and particularly what that translates into for the people living in rural Ireland. There are many concerns, for example, around the price of fertiliser, which farmers are now finding prohibitively expensive. They're finding it very difficult to make ends meet under any other circumstances as well. And in particular, rural TDs again raising issue with the fact that the government intends to raise carbon taxes on domestic household fuels at the start of May. Not have you shot yourselves in one foot. You've shot the bloody legs out from underneath yourselves with the height of stupidity. And it does not make sense. And the farmers, what do you think the farmers are thinking today? If a person, if a robber had a choice this minute between going to a bank and robbing a ball of money or robbing a pallet of fertiliser, he'd be better off to rob the pallet of fertiliser because it's worth more. I just have one question for you. How much do your measures cost? How much do they cost? So you how much do your measures cost? Minister, as you, you have will a parliamentary know. budget office available to you. I'll repeat the question one more time. How much do your proposals you cost? You know the answer to that. He, 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 he have the regular room. Chair. And things ended up getting more escalated from there because you can see then in a few minutes after that there was a suspension of the doll for 10 minutes because of a row between Engels or Snuddick in the chair and Carol Nolan of the Rural Independence. You can see in the left-hand side of this footage she is a one-time Sinn Féin TD, a former colleague of Engels or Snuddick, but she said that the chair wasn't doing enough to defend her from interruptions by ministers which ultimately led then to business being abandoned for about 10 minutes while tempers began to cool a little bit. But it seems there might be something in the water in Leinster House today because inside the last half hour there's been in a row at Dáil leaders' questions between Mary Lou Macdonald and Micheál Martin over who governs the more corrupt party. Mary Lou Macdonald says it's Fianna Fáil because of its links to Anne's backer account holders and fundraising at the tent of the Galway races. Micheál Martin says it's Sinn Féin because of its support for the murder and mayhem of the IRA and he says because the party has helped to cover up the rape of women by IRA volunteers. All of that ostensibly in an exchange about housing and the activities of cuckoo funds. A very heated morning at Leinster House today. All right, Gavin, thank you for that.